in a significant move towards promoting the responsible development and deployment of artificial intelligence. The White House issuing an executive order focused on ensuring the safe, secure and trustworthy use of AI technologies. The order signed by the president underscores the importance of AI ethics and cybersecurity. For more, joined by Dr. Karen Sutherland from the University of the Sunshine goes Great to see you as always. My biggest question with this one is how on earth can the president do anything to try and prevent the use of AI? Everyone is using it. I think the horse has bolted on that part, but I think in the <laughs> development of new AI technologies, they, they're trying to enforce some sort of regulations, mainly focused on sort of safety, transparency, uh, lack of bias in, in data. You talk about uh, what the Americans are doing, but he's president of the United States, not president of the world. No matter what they do, there will always be a new AI bot out there that will do what the Americans may not uh, allow them to do. It's not something that uh, can be controlled. What happens happens in Russia or what happens in China, where tech developers might say this is a free-for-all. Absolutely. But I think maybe he's trying to set an example for the rest of the world. And I know they are trying to link in with other countries to see if there can be some sort of consistent approach to making AI production a bit more safer uh, and have some sort of regulations in place. How effective that will be, only time will tell, but I do understand your with that. <laughs> yeah. Now, talk to us about this regulatory body, the idea of compliance with AI regulations, because the news industry, I've just been in New York, a lot of talk about scraping and taking content. As I reminded everybody, though, when the president speaks on 60 Minutes, or on CNN, every other network takes it, what's the difference? There's a lot of gray area when it comes to scraping, a lot of gray area about using content, taking content, my view is, so long as you credit where it has come from. But the trouble with AI is you don't know where it's generating the content. And we're obviously talking about generative AI, right? That's right. So yes, you don't, you don't know where it's coming from. And so I think in a lot of circles now, it's actually it's the, the best practice is to actually uh, disclose when you're using it. So I know as an academic, if you're using AI in any sort of um, research paper, you have to disclose it, that the use of it and how you've used it. So maybe there'll be more around that, disclosing when you're using it. I know in this executive order, there was a strong focus on transparency. And although the details aren't clear yet, there is an aim to try and get people to set in some guidelines of how they should disclose when they are using AI mm, in yeah. terms of content. We'll see about that one as well. All right, uh, let's talk about something which is pretty sensitive, but Matthew Perry passed over the weekend. There's been some real focus, though, on the cryptic bat signal post. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so in the week leading up to Matthew Perry's um, tragic death, he kept posting around Matt, calling himself Matt Man, which he does, and, and sort of Batman-related content. And there's been a lot of speculation around why this is happening. So it might've just been a lead up to Halloween, who knows, but the speculation online, particularly on TikTok that I've, I've seen is around the fact that Matthew Perry's final chapter in his book was really focused on um, ex explaining about his, about Batman and the last line in his book referenced back Batman as well. And so the, the speculation is maybe he, he knew uh, that sort of it was his final chapter, but who yeah. knows, as I said, it's yeah. just speculation. Maybe you just love Batman. All right, like Batman, we gotta go and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much.